Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. I'm down um, just in southern Georgia, and here I am with James Filia. James, you have an amazing collection of tractors. We really appreciate you taking time to show us here. Uh, why don't you take us into your, your shed here, and we'll uh, talk about some of your, uh, your favorite John Deere tractors. What's the story on the 1010 here? I bought it in Carrollton, had a hole inside the motor where the starter was, and had to find another parts tractor to put the motor in it. We've done a lot of work on it, but it runs nice. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, why don't you walk us down the line here, James? This is a 2010, brought from a friend of mine over at Pelham. Had PTO problems in it. He had bought it to work in hay. And I told him, I said, well, this, he was used to using his daddy's 30, daddy-in-law's 3020, and I said, now, Louis B, that's not going to be the track for 3020 years now. I said, now, if you decide you don't want it, I'd like to have it just for the numbers to go with my series. And I said, so he called me one day, and he said, I decided I don't want it. I said, I need some more cows. He, Give me some cow and calf pairs for the tractor. So that's the way I come about the tractor. And like I said, I bought another old parts tractor and got the parts and fixed it and redone it. And the series that you collect, what is your, uh, what have you collected with deers, James? This is all the 10 series except for the 8010. Yeah, oh, and like we talked about, a little hard to find those 8010s, isn't it? Right. They didn't make many of them, and then they went to the 8020. Right, right. Okay, we have a 2510 next. 2510, I bought it from a man over at Cotton. Where? Cotton. Cotton. A little town, really, it ain't about a store, but okay. it's not about 10 miles from here. And okay. That was his daddy's tractor. He was 90 years old when he passed away. That's a power shift, and uh, he wanted to sell it, so I went over and bought it. And like I said, he said his daddy was about the only one to ever drove that tractor. Wow. So I redid it, and I was coping to redid it before his son passed away, but now his son has also passed okay. away. So I'd like, you know, some if I buy it at a family member, I'd like them to come back and look at them. After right. Get through it. Right. Okay. Next, we next. I understand, James. We have a tractor that you uh, you kind of still use, right? This tractor was still in use up to a month or two ago. Uh, I moved down on a farm in 1974 and half cropped, and the man owned the tractor. And so we had used it, and I had done restored it one time. I was probably been 15, 20 years ago. And uh, we've started fixing leakers on it, but it's the next one on the list to get restored. And okay. I kind of felt bad putting it in here, but I wanted it in the series. The 30, and it's a 3010, correct? But, uh, it's, yeah. it's been a good tractor, okay. and I like pulling a two-row mower, mowing around the barns. You couldn't beat it, my notion. Well, it looks like next to it we have uh, another beautifully restored tractor, James. 4010? 4010 gas burner. Okay. It come out of Fort Meade, Florida. And a Pope auction had an auction down there and they had the gas burner and had a diesel one there where the gas burner was cheaper and looked better. Okay. And so I was hunting numbers, I wasn't hunting something new, so that's the reason I went with the gas. And, uh, Hunting we, numbers. You got your we, 4010. We restored it. You know. And then on the end, you you were telling me the 5010. You're you're saving because you you're gonna have so much fun with it, right? Yeah, 5010 is one. I reckon. I was hoping this time next year we have all the 10 series restored. Okay. And I kind of dread that. And I'm gonna kind of have to buy the tires and buying some of the sheet metal on it. The radiator there, they in bad shape, but. No tractor runs and drives good, it's just what you can see, what you got fixed. Right, right. Need tires on the back one. On the other side, you can't see it, but it, you're about dangerous to walk back. Uh, okay. And what do we have here? We have a couple, uh, three garden tractors. Yeah, uh, this is my grandchildren thought they were too big to ride on the Pella tractor trail, and so this past May Day parade in Doran, I restored these two for the grandchildren driving the parade. And I understand the annual parade indoor is, is quite the parade. Right. Yeah, we've been going over it probably six years now, and I think we carried 21 tractors over there this time. Wow. And I understand your tractors are kind of the have become kind of what everyone anticipates wanting to see, hey, Jeff. Everybody looks forward to seeing the tractors come through. So. Right. They just make people smile, don't they? Yep. And talk about, James, now you, you bring tractors, you restore them, you bring them back to new. What does that mean to you when we were able to do that? Well, I just like from look back like they did the day they left the factory. I like to 
I just don't paint it. I try to go through it and fix all leaks. Anything's wrong with it, I want it fixed. Right. You do it the hard way, but do it right. Well, we sandblast them. I'm not really fond of sandblasting a tractor, but we sandblast every one of them. I do a lot of stopping up because sand will get where you don't want it. Yeah. And I go to a lot of trouble to keep sand out of them. And we right. sandblast it back to bare metal and go back to painting. We take, well, tire, take tires, wheels, everything off of it. Got a little trailer built that's mounted on. And uh, that tire's painted inside just as much as it's painted outside. And you have a paint shop? Out back another right. we got a shop on the shop. farm. I got a sandblaster right down on my own. I used to borrow one. I went and bought a sandblaster. So we got everything it takes to do to paint other than know how. When did you start collecting gems? Oh, I've been doing it now about eight years, eight or nine years. You've been busy for eight years then. Yep. <laughs> and you say when you go out to uh, sales or events, the tractors tend to follow you home? Well, if you go down there, not intending on buying one, but you can look back and there'll be one following you home when you leave there. <laughs> Okay, now let me swing around here, James, and see the other side of the shed here. We got an 8.30 in the back. This is a 8.30. I went up to Carrollton. The man had it there. He didn't sell it, so I talked to him later. He lived in Baxley, Georgia. And I went over and bought it from him over there. Okay. But it was like that when I bought it. Okay. He had restored it. How do you decide which ones to take to the parade? Well, when we go off, on distance, I don't can't care about five to six, and I have to choose smaller tractors I can get and pull on the trailer. Okay. You know, this one don't hardly go off on the boat the door. It goes to the door, but other than that, it don't go much further. And the Doran Parade is in May? In May. First May. Saturday in May. Okay. I would like to see that someday. I'll have to come down for that. How about this the 730? It was like this one I'm on. Okay. Okay. It hadn't been restored, it needs restored, and look, it's a decent looking tractor, but if you didn't have nothing else to do, it'd be all right to start on it, but I got too many and it looks worse. So that's the reason it just don't get fixed. It's all about priorities, right, James? Okay, 6.30. 6.30, I bought down here in Florida, at, uh, the weeks of sale down there, and this is back in some of the first ones we started restoring. Okay. And down the line we go. 530 it came from Carrollton also and it has not been restored, it's been repainted, but it's got it runs good, it does good, it leaks a lot of oil, it's been welded up under the bottom of the rear end. And so when you put it in here, you look for a puddle on it the next day. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, something we don't see every day, the 435. The 435, I bought a friend of mine down in Motri and he had bought it, somebody had restored it about probably six or seven years ago and he used it to mow with and he wanted a newer tractor with a floater and all on it and so yeah. I buy paint from him. He runs a paint shop down there and I bought it from him. Okay. And the last tractor in, in the line in the shed here, 430. 430. Blown the Mr. Hendry and them out from the edge between here and Dover and where they run a dairy over there. And it sat over in that dairy yard six or eight years and I bought it from his daddy restored it but they bought it when it was new. Okay. And up on the wall this is the first this is the first one I've ever restored. The four thirty. Wow. This tractor's probably been restored 15, 20 years ago. Well I've, don't I've, look that bad the yaller if we're set under the shelters back there has faded worse than the sure. green has. And all the pedal tractors, James. They just come from here and there where I run across one and had a lot of them still in the boxes and I got out here a month ago and built that cabinet and put all of them back together and tried to put them in series like from the old to the new. Sure. And we had them in the bike barns out there where people come they couldn't actually see them and so we had those on the trail out there you know people could see but those in the bike barn it was hard to look at and I told my wife I said and we put them up off the wall my room's not wide enough I need all the space I can get in here so I mounted it up where you can back track or steal up under it. And you know, James, you must get a lot of people want to come out and see the tractors. We have somebody about once a week to come through here. Yeah. And I tell them when you come, now you need three or four hours if you come. Right, absolutely. Where'd you get the stoplight? I bought it down at the car show here a year or two ago. I like I it. it up and I got two bulbs in it glued and down life sale, they have another one over in the corner and I bought it. You never know what you might find at yeah. the sale, right? Might even find an old John Deere bike we have in the corner, yeah. huh? 
I thought it looked neat kind of put a stoplight in here. That's awesome. And James, you uh, you kind of grew up John Deere tractor lover? We farmed all our lives around John Deere's. My daddy, I think that's about, uh, in his earlier years, he farmed with some Ford tractors. But sure. the majority of the life, we've been on some John Deere tractors. Well, your collection is just uh, beautiful. James, thank you for telling us about it. Uh, and, and just thanks for your hospitality. Yeah, I appreciate y'all coming, and you're welcome to come back anytime.